In today's video, we're going to go through condo prices across the Toronto condo market and GTA condo market as they stand in 2023. And as always, break them down by area and give you the context you deserve. Let's get to it. Hello, everyone. This is Sam from Siberia 6 Real Estate and Remax Realtron Realtor Inc. As always, back with another video for you guys here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sam, a Toronto real estate agent working with buyers and sellers. On this channel, I like to discuss all things Toronto and GTA real estate market oriented, market stats, market facts, market trends, home prices, buyer advice, seller advice, area analysis, building reviews, pre-construction previews, need I say more. If any of this intrigues you or you find this content informative, as always, feel free to subscribe. And lastly, you can find my contact information on the screen and in the description box. If you have any further questions and need any assistance with real estate, feel free to get in touch with me, reach out, and we'll have a conversation. So I thought why not take a look at Toronto condo prices, GTA condo prices, really across the Toronto condo market for 2023. Off the bat, to give you some wider context, condo properties are the property type that has held up the best. I actually just created a short, which you can find on my channel where I go through that fact, but at face value, it's a very basic fact. Condo properties are down only 8% across the GTA, looking at a year over year lens, as opposed to other property types that are down much more than 8%, 22%, 20%, 18% for detached semis and townhomes. So that is really the wider context established when we're taking a look at these prices in this video. So let's start with the most general stat. Let's take a look at condo prices across the GTA as a whole. This accounts for Toronto, Toronto, Peel region, Durham region, York region, all these regions that compose the GTA. We see that in January of 2023, which is the most recent month we have in full at the time of recording of this video, it's only eight days into February. I'll do the February numbers when we get 15 days into February. We see an average sold price of $687,000 across the entirety of the GTA. This is based upon 950 sales and the median we see is $610,000. So keep in mind, once again, this is across all areas in the GTA and all condo types, right? We're not really breaking it down by bedroom number. Nonetheless, though, how does this compare year over year and month over month? Well, in January of 2022, so year over year, the average price was at $748,000, whereas the median was at $695,000. That, in terms of the median, is a difference of $85,000. Uh, furthermore, those prices were based on 2,000 sales as opposed to 950 sales. So for those who are uninitiated, last year, January of 2022, we were at the precipice of the peak peak market with regards to the Toronto real estate market overall. And although the average is a big difference between the, what we saw last year, 2022, and what we're looking at this year, to me, the more alarming figure is the difference in median because median numbers are typically better at capturing uh, a more accurate representation of the markets. Dropping from $685,000 last year, now all the way down to $610,000 is very alarming, yet not surprising because we are clearly in a much cooler market in today's market. My favorite catchphrase on this channel is, I don't purely go based on the facts, the stats. I also go on the qualitative everyday experience I have as a Toronto real estate agent working with buyers and sellers. And I can tell you, building by building, when I'm looking at units from my buyers, as I was this past week, the week before that, and so far in 2023, even as uh, further back as November and December of 2022, the sales we were looking at in particular buildings were in some instances a hundred and fifty thousand a hundred and twenty thousand dollars less than that same exact unit on a different floor sold for last year there are a lot of examples of that and if you want to see me to cover those go check out my TikTok. i usually cover those a lot in different buildings where the same exact unit in terms of the same exact exposure same exact square footage same exact layout the only difference is obviously the different floor and same exact interior condition and how those 
those units are selling with the difference of once again with some instances a hundred thousand dollars in difference in terms of price point and obviously a hundred thousand dollars less now let's take a look at month over month because month over month is a different story month over month prices are far more stable down nonetheless but down marginally so because as i previously mentioned the average we're looking at in january is 687,000. median is 610,000. well in december of 2022 there were actually more sales by 16 so we were looking at 966 sales and we were looking at an average of 705,000 dollars with a median of 625,000 dollars so the market clearly overall is down right uh even month over month buyer activity has significantly picked up but that hasn't been reflected in prices once again just to be very clear when we're taking a look at overall across the gta but now let's just take a look at city of toronto by itself no longer are we looking at the entirety of the gta but just the municipality of toronto where the majority of the condos are and obviously the toronto condo market is the biggest condo market within the gta and most likely the entirety of canada with vancouver coming in second so thus far within the toronto real estate market in 2023 and toronto condo market the average sold price of a condo has been seven Seven hundred and eleven thousand dollars across the city of Toronto, with a median of six hundred and twenty-six thousand dollars. This shouldn't be surprising, where the average and medians are higher than the GTA overall, because obviously the Toronto condo market is more expensive than the GTA overall, because all the other municipalities in the GTA carry down the average the toronto condo market carries up the average and to show you how much of a share the toronto condo market makes up of the gta condo market well this was according to 604 sales uh, if you recall when we're talking the overall gta stats we were going based upon 950 sales so really we're only talking about 350 or so sales that occurred outside of the city of toronto nonetheless focusing on the city of toronto it's on trend it's significantly down because in the toronto condo market in 2022 january January of 2022, we saw a average of $760,000 with a median of $700,000. So once again, the median is down significantly, $70,000, $75,000, give or take. And what was happening last year within the Toronto condo market is much of the same that's happening now, actually, uh, not to the same extent, but all the listings basically nine out of ten listings were for bidding right so multiple offers now right now we're looking at a condo market where it's not nine out of ten listings it's most likely four five out of ten in some areas in some uh, sub communities it might be six seven nonetheless though they're not selling at higher prices they're not really selling higher than market value in a sense they're selling at what they would have otherwise sold at to be honest with you if they were to price it above what they were willing to accept the more straightforward approach so in terms of the strategy the bidding war is kind of making a return but it's not reflected in prices and one key item to point out is the days on market because within the toronto condo market last year of these 1400 sales that we're talking about that are you know uh used to derive these average and medians the average days on market was 20 right so these listings were staying on the market on an average basis of 20 across the state of toronto now it's 33 so clearly the bidding strategies being applied now is not working to the same extent and once again obviously a much cooler market but now once again let's transition to taking a look at the month over month when we take a look at the month over month we see a drop of thirty thousand dollars in terms of average sold prices so from seven hundred forty one thousand dollars uh December of 2022 to now we're talking about seven hundred eleven thousand dollars within the city of Toronto yet a much smaller drop of ten thousand dollars in terms of median because the median sold price in December of 2022 was six hundred thirty five thousand dollars if you recall uh in the median sold price in the city of Toronto in 2023 has been six hundred twenty six thousand dollars as I stated so this shows more so to me that the Toronto condo market is holding up better uh because the difference of ten thousand dollars is definitely don't get me wrong noticeable in terms of median sold prices yet though it's not demonstrative where i can say the market has dipped significantly further i think it is fair to say once again city of toronto wide it is pretty steady based upon the median sold prices um so far in 2023 compared to december of 2022 but now let's break down the state of toronto further let's break down the state of toronto to toronto central toronto west and toronto east for those who don't know what toronto west toronto east toronto central really is there is a link to the trep maps in the description box go click that link once you click that link 
toggle the municipalities, you'll see that the districts of C's and W's and E's, well, pretty much the W's are Toronto West, the E's are Toronto East, and the C's are Toronto Central. As a rough measure, as I always say, you can think of Toronto Central anything between Dufferin and Bayview. But once again, that's a rough measure, so it's not always that exact science. Nonetheless, when we break it down to just Toronto Central, for instance, we see that so far in 2023, with regards to the Toronto real estate market in 2023, and the Toronto condo market, obviously, an average sold price of $779,000 with a median sold price of $668,000. And all things considered, the average sold price has actually held up pretty well year over year. Because when we take a look at January 2022, the average sold price for Toronto Central condos was $803,000 with a median of $729,000. Of course, the median gap is much bigger, but the, in terms of the average sold price gap, this is probably one of the only um, categories where the average sold price is down this little. Um, most other property types, most other areas, whether I'm breaking it down by semi-detached only or by areas only, Mississauga, North York, Scarborough, whatever it may be, on most fronts, the average sold price gap is much bigger than this. So I'm actually surprised that it's only what? A difference of $24,000 or so. But more interesting than that even, now this is where we actually start to see when we applied the month over month approach, a increase in prices. That's right. Because when we take a look at month over month, comparing January of 2023 with regards to the Toronto condo market in the central regions to December, we see that in December, the average sold price for Toronto Central was $771,000 and the median sold price was $667,000. So in terms of the median, nothing really happened, right? Nothing shifted. I mean, it's a median difference of $1,000. That is pretty much inconsequential insofar as I am concerned and it really uh, indicates to me that it is break even. It's exactly flush as it was with last year, even though literally speaking, yes, it's a thousand dollars more, but practically speaking, it doesn't mean anything that thousand dollars. And in terms of the average, it's not that big of a gap either, right? Nonetheless, we see as we have progressed thus far in this video, when you broke it down GTA wide, prices were down. We broke it down Toronto wide, prices were down, but less. Now we're breaking it down Toronto Central exclusively. So we're closing in the scope more and more into the most in-demand condo areas within the Toronto condo market. And we see prices are up, albeit minimally so. Month over month, obviously, year over year, they're still down. So this is to indicate to me that clearly the most in-demand areas within the Toronto condo market, in this case being Toronto Central, have seen not only the uptick in buyer activity, but an actual sustaining of levels. And in some instances, if we were to break it down even further by particular buildings, a increase of uh, demand and prices. Anyways, unfortunately, I'm running out of time. Uh, I always break down Toronto East and Toronto West as well. Unfortunately, I have to cut today's video short. So as always, thank you very much for watching. You can feel free to subscribe, comment, like, and review. You can find my contact information in the description box. Or, and if you have any further questions, include it in the comments or send a email. Thank you very much for watching. I'm looking forward to covering more on the condo market, more on the real estate market overall. I got really really, really cool ideas for content planned. I'm going to be filming them over the weekend. Cannot wait to show you guys. And yes, stay tuned for that building review as well. Thank you very much so for watching. Stay safe and stay tuned. Thank you.